I feel really inspired. I'm really excited for fall. I'm in the mood. Are you ready for your PSL? I like, am. do you want to go grab one? That now? was that was quite a take, and I will be getting a PSL right after this. Oh, uh, but for the real news, here's our UI7 news correspondent, Andrea Flores. Good morning, Illini. I'm Andrea Flores, your UI7 news correspondent with your campus and Champaign Urbana news. But first, we have some national breaking news for you. The Senate just voted 51 to 49 in favor of Judge Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court justice nomination. A final vote is expected this weekend in favor of concluding the nomination process. And on campus, uh, this week, university administration issued a new policy related to the existed smoke-free commitment. Vaping devices like e-cigarettes and jewels will join other already banned tobacco products, which includes cigarettes and chewing tobacco. The updated policy will apply to all students, faculty, and visitors on all campus-owned property, both indoors and outdoors, and it is set to begin August 2019. Over in downtown Champaign, protesters lined the streets outside the News Gazette on Monday, rallying against a cartoon published in the newspaper late last week. The cartoon, titled Teen Angst in the Era of Me Too, depicts two teens in a car, with thought bubbles reading over the boy, wait, what am I doing here? This could come back to haunt me in 30 years when I'm up for a big position. The girl's thought bubble reads, what's he doing? Doesn't he like me? What's wrong with boys these days? Many say the cartoon was offensive, including State Representative Carol Ammons at the rally. Since then, there have been several letters to the editor, and the cartoonish issued a statement saying the negative response was unintentional. For our last recap story today, I visited the Idea Garden at the Urbana Arboretum, which has experienced a recent stint of crime. On the south side of campus, far away from an often loud main quad and Green Street, there's the quiet and beautiful Idea Garden. But something less than ideal has hit the garden. A string of thefts that started in the summer of 2017 has continued into this fall. Garden volunteers and officials have had enough, including University Extension educator Ryan Pankoff. We're pretty confident it's somebody that knew what they were taking and it wasn't just a random plant that somebody dug out of here. From shrubs and plants, to outhouses, to children's garden trinkets, even benches and beloved rabbit figurines like these here, have been swiped. For Ryan Pancon and the other master gardeners here at the Idea Garden, the thefts are not so much about the money lost. It's about losing out on their hard work and items they love that crushes their morale. Garden volunteers don't have any leads in mind. Neither does Cassidy Brandt, a frequent visitor. I can't really imagine why someone would want to take something from such an awesome part of our community. Um, it's so beautiful and just Taking things, why? University police have increased patrols, but it's hard to keep a constant eye on the entire garden. With no electricity currently running through the garden, cameras are out of the question. This isn't the first time thieves have struck the garden. Vegetable crops are often picked by folks that visit the garden, and uh, if they weren't picked, we would donate them to a food pantry, so we figure those go to a, you know, a good home, somebody that probably needs them and uses them. The newer string of thefts, however, have had a higher impact. Pancaw estimates over $1,000 in plants alone have been stolen, not including the other missing items. This is an ongoing investigation. Anyone with information is encouraged to call University Police. For Good Morning Illini in Urbana, I'm Andrea Flores, UI7 News Correspondent.